This week's class, When Your Health Matters, a class designed to empower you to better health through knowledge and education. And I'm your host, Dr. Richard Huntoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center. We are located at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park. That is in Pooler, Georgia. We're in Suite 404 of Building 400. If you'd like to get a hold of us, uh, you can certainly stop into the office. That would be great. Um, do not, at this particular time, uh, require anybody to wear a mask, but you're still welcome to wear a mask when you come into the office. Um, it's entirely up to your comfort level. Short of stopping into the office, because I'm not always here, uh, the best way to get a hold of me would be to call my cell phone directly at area code 845-561-2225. Again, 845-561-2225. Uh, please do not call, uh, text that cell phone is that cell phone is not equipped to receive texts uh, so I will never get it and that would defeat the purpose for you uh, trying to communicate to me through text but if you want to do the email thing uh, my email address is docrick d-o-c-r-i-c-k at spineboy.com docrick at spineboy.com and whether you stop in whether you call or whether you email me it's my pleasure to help you to better understanding what the concerns that you have regarding your health uh, we do this class every week um, because uh, people have stopped coming to class due to uh, COVID-19. Um, so we're still doing the video classes, and uh, this particular class is going to be specifically about uh, the big blood pressure myth and why you should not fall for the blood pressure myth and uh, getting into why it's a blood pressure myth, uh, simply because if you've you've been around long enough, if you're uh, anywhere over the age of, of 70, or uh, heck, you could even be my age, uh, this is uh, my birthday healthcare class. Um, turned 56 yesterday, uh, so this is celebrating my birthday class. Um, what is considered high blood pressure? High blood pressure uh, has been ratcheted down over the number of years, and um, you know, it used to be 160 over 110, and then they lowered it to 140 over 90, and now they'd like it to be uh, the diastolic, or the second number, the lower number, they'd like that to be uh, below 90. Um, otherwise, you're now being put into prehypertension, uh, which is one of the things uh, that is a myth, is actually made up. I mean, theoretically, anybody that doesn't have high blood pressure qualifies for being pre hypertension or pre-high blood pressure. Um, but there's several different types of uh, blood pressure issues. Uh, essential blood pressure is, is the blood pressure that uh, your typically your average blood pressure is on a regular basis uh, by getting a blood pressure uh, machine cuff type thing where you can take your own blood pressure at home. Uh, it's basically your resting blood pressure. Um, but essential hypertension is, is where the person uh, takes their blood pressure and they seem to think that they ha have high blood pressure based upon uh, how the things have been ratcheted down over the number of years. Um, so if we are changing the numbers of how we look at, well, what that does is that allows more people to be treated and put on blood pressure medication, uh, typically for the rest of their life, uh, simply because the medication will mask the, uh, the, the, the indicator that you have high blood pressure. It will artificially lower it for you instead of uh, it being normal on its own. Um, so the challenge is, is that treatments for all of, of the uh, things that go on with high blood pressure um, are going to lead to further health issues. And the uh, challenge is, is, is that nobody in the medical profession is actually looking for the underlying reason for why one would get high blood pressure. So um, we certainly don't need another group of individuals out there being put on lifetime medication. So we want you to be aware of that. So um, mast hypertension is a type of hypertension. Um, it's a new medical term uh, for people who have normal blood pressure when they're not at their doctor's. Uh, I'm sorry, when they are at their doctor's, but the doctor feels that when you're not in the office that you could possibly have uh, high blood pressure, so we want to medicate that anyway. That's called mast hypertension, and uh, that just seems a little bit ridiculous uh, that they're 
uh, projecting onto you that they think you have high blood pressure even though your blood pressure numbers are normal within the office. Um, so mast hypertension is uh, the opposite of white coat hypertension, uh, which is the blood pressure is only high when your doctor takes it. Um, uh, for mast hypertension group, high blood pressure is now determined uh, to be there, like I said, even when your uh, blood pressure seems to be normal when you're in the doctor's office. So we have white coat syndrome, which is where your blood pressure is high only when you're in your doctor's office. And then we have masked hypertension, uh, which is indicating that your blood pressure is normal probably while you're in the office, but it's probably high when you're out of the office. And the sad part is, is that none of the underlying reasons for why a person could have, the, uh, could have hypertension are even considered. Um, so, so the number one reason that causes a majority of, of people's blood pressures to go up happens to be a thing called dehydration. Uh, it's a condition in which uh, you don't have enough water, um, which we've talked about throughout the year about needing enough water for uh, proper, um, maintaining proper hydration so that your body maintains normal function. When you don't have enough proper hydration, well then your body is going to react to that, the blood vessels are going to constrict um, in an effort to maintain proper uh, feeding of the heart and the rest of the circulatory system with blood, so that actually will drive your blood pressure up simply because you're dehydrated. Um, so um, we want to make sure that you're not doing that. Easiest way to do that is to just simply drink the requisite amount of water, which is one quart of water for every 50 pounds you weigh every day. Um, next thing that uh, happens as a result of that is, is total, utter exhaustion. When you don't have enough uh, water in your system, uh, the chief symptom of that would be exhaustion. So if you're tired out there, uh, this would potentially be a reason, not enough water. Um, the second reason why uh, people may have uh, high blood pressure is, is the fact that they're uh, high blood fats and triglycerides from the standard American diet. If you're eating too many completely refined and processed sugars, what I call the crap sugars, um, you're going to increase your blood fats and your triglycerides in an effort to move all that sugar around. And you can't possibly burn all that sugar, so it's converted over to triglycerides, which becomes blood fat. And when your blood fats are too high, uh, the typical symptom that results from that uh, would be complete and utter exhaustion. Um, Third thing that may be creating these problems has to do with uh, having the requisite amounts of vitamin C in your diet. Um, vitamin C is a light sensitive and heat sensitive uh, vitamin. Um, and because of the way that we process and refine our foods, uh, foods usually become depleted in whole food vitamin C. And so when you have deficiencies in the vitamin C complex uh, as a result of the standard American diet, um, ultimately, this is going to result in decreased oxygen to the cells, and when you have decreased oxygen to the cells, the result from that is more exhaustion. Okay, and so we need to have adequate amounts of vitamin C in our diet. Okay, um, the heart's response to this kind is to speed up and increase uh, in beating and possibly increases in blood pressure simply because you don't have enough vitamin C. Uh, and again, if the heart is compensating for a lack of vitamin C, ultimately it's going to drive your blood pressure up and you're going to feel exhausted. Um, standard American diet, high in refined carbohydrates or completely refined in processed sugars or the crapohydrates, as Dr. Dobbins used to say. Uh, high levels of insulin from those diets, lack of exercise, uh, deficiency in glucose tolerance factors, which are B vitamins and minerals, irritates the blood vessels and irritates the linings. Uh, resulting in cholesterol placking and the narrowing of the arteries, which drives up the blood pressure. And the result of that, exhaustion. You guessed it. Okay. Uh, and factors that uh, influence the bioflavonoids found in whole phytonutrient vitamin C complexes uh, are needed to maintain the integrity of those blood vessel linings. Uh, the use of statin drugs to stop cholesterol is a band-aid that only treats the symptoms. It doesn't actually address the problem. And uh, the result of that is complete devastation and utter exhaustion. And so um, these are the things that we don't want to do. So all heart and blood pressure drugs eventually lead to complete and utter exhaustion.
And so the question then becomes is what, what happens if you stop the medication? Uh, this causes a lot of trepidation because the answer will be uh, you'll be right back to square one. So how do you get out from underneath this? Well, you need to figure out what's going on and you need to work with somebody such as a functional healthcare practitioner like myself who can help you understand do you have all the necessary ingredients that we learned about last week uh, related to your heart, your B vitamins, your probiotics, your trace minerals, your organic minerals, um, your cataplex E2. Uh, all of those are, are very, very important. And so what I'm offering this particular week uh, to be used anytime during the month of July is if you come in and we check your blood pressure, and we see that your blood pressure has uh, got some issues, um, we'll actually help you address it. But if we check your blood pressure in three positions, as we've discussed in past videos, and your blood pressure does what it's supposed to do, uh, then it's not something that you ultimately have to worry about. Um, and if there's anything that we can do to help lower your blood pressure and make your blood pressure respond to uh, the simple stress that all of us are under, uh, that would be great. So. I hope this has been a uh, productive class for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me at 845-561-2225, or you can email me directly at docrick at spineboy.com. That's D-O-C-R-I-C-K at spineboy.com. Or you can stop into the office at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park, Suite 404 of Building 400. And uh, either way, it's my intention to help you to better health and better understanding on how to be in charge of your health. And that's why we call this When Your Health Matters. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.